Hello everyone. Today our topic is memory hierarchy. Getting familiar with the memory hierarchy is useful for understanding memory organization in both computer system architecture and operating system courses. The memory in a computer system can be divided into five hierarchies based on the speed, technology, and the purpose views. The five hierarchies are CPU registers, cache memory, main memory or RAM, magnetic disks, and magnetic tapes. Several textbooks represent the hierarchy in a pyramid form. CPU registers are normally at the top of the memory hierarchy and provide the fastest way to access data. There are several types of CPU registers such as data registers, address registers like memory address register, status registers usually used to hold the truth values to determine whether some instructions should be executed or not. Floating point registers, special purpose registers like for example program counter used to hold the address of the next instruction to be executed and general purpose registers used to hold operands and intermediate results. CPU registers vary in both number and size depending on the CPU architecture. For many years, 32-bit registers were used, but now the size used is 64-bit registers. And regarding the number of registers, the number of registers vary from 16 registers to several hundred registers. The next component in the hierarchy is cache memory. Cache memory stores instructions and data that the CPU frequently accesses during computer operations. Instead of having to access this repeated information from RAM, the CPU can retrieve them faster from high performance cache memory. So cache memory is employed in computer systems to compensate for the speed differences between main memory access time and the processor logic. In some systems, three levels of cache memory are used. The next memory in the hierarchy is the main memory or RAM. The main memory is the central storage unit in the computer system. Main memory is used to store programs that are currently under processing. Other programs and data are stored in an auxiliary memory and transferred to main memory when needed. RAM is used for storing the bulk of the programs and data that are subject to change. ROM, read-only memory, is used for storing programs that are permanently resident in the computer and for tables of constants that do not change in value once the production of the computer is completed. ROMs are also used to store the bootstrap program. The next memory in the hierarchy is the auxiliary memory that includes magnetic disks, optical disks, and magnetic tapes. The most common auxiliary memory devices used in computer systems are magnetic disks and magnetic tapes. They are used for storing system programs, large data files, and other backup information. CPU registers and cache memory are usually called internal memory. RAM is the main memory or the primary memory. Magnetic disks and magnetic tapes are known as auxiliary memory. The first three types of memories in the hierarchy, CPU registers, cache memory, and RAM are volatile memories. In these memories, data is lost when power supply is turned off. While the other two types, magnetic disks and magnetic tapes, are non-volatile, they do not lose the data when the power supply is turned off. As we move to the right, or in the pyramid form, as we move down the hierarchy, the memory capacity increases. The capacity of CPU registers is 1,000 or few thousands of bytes. 
the capacity of cache memory is measured in kilobytes or megabytes. The capacity of main memory is measured in megabytes or gigabytes. And the capacity of disks and tapes is measured by terabytes. The ability of the memory hierarchy is the total amount of data the memory can store. As we move from left to right in this hierarchy, or from top to bottom in the pyramid form, the access time increases. CPU registers can perform one operation on one nanosecond. Cache memory, four to 10 nanoseconds. In memory, the access time is, is usually less than 100 nanoseconds. And in magnetic disk, maybe one millisecond, which is million nanoseconds. Regarding the cost per bit, it increases as we move from right to left in this form or from bottom to top in the pyramid form. This means that internal memory is expensive compared with external memory. To compare the cost, we have to normalize the values to bit or byte or kilobyte. And you can check that even by calculating the cost of storing one byte in your PC. The main goals of memory hierarchy are, first to provide CPU with the necessary data and instructions as quickly as possible. And the second goal is to reduce traffic on memory bus. This was a quick introduction to memory hierarchy. For today, that's all. Thank you.